Goddamn that is hippies. Right. Showed them. <laughs> Shut them up. Back to class, loudmouths, troublemakers. Tony. Hey. Hey. I just called to say, fuck you, man. I, I own XL and I'm black. I'm listening to you on a little bit of a delay. I ran into the store to get something, came back out, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm a black dude. Or <laughs> <own shirt."> <laughs> <laughs> you sound upwardly mobile, sir. <laughs> I like that. You went into a store to get something, or are they chasing you right now as as you speak? <laughs> Dude, fuck you again, man. <laughs> Guy's very well spoken. <laughs> well, he has a very good job. It's because he works oh, around man. white folks. But he's, he's works like, around white folks. But, but, yeah, I, 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 I do work around you yeah. damn white people. You're yeah. absolutely right. Man. Aren't we a pain in the ass? Crack ass, crack ass. Sometimes I, I have to turn the radio off when I bring my wife in the car, man, because she's like super militant. She's like, what the fuck are you listening to? What the hell? Is that? Yeah, really, dude. Be careful, man. Oh, man. She's going to make me give back my uh, my black man card listening to you guys, man. I swear to God. I knew you guys had those. See? Yeah, well, See? You got you the black man card. The black man him. card? I, I didn't say... I didn't res fucking dispute that. And, oh, okay. You got a black man <laughs> card. Let me is, see it. But it is a, you can't see my black... No. That's how you lose it, showing it to white people. Yeah, I know, I know, it's I over. I can't show it to you guys. I almost lost it, but just telling you about it, man. You know? <laughs> listening to your show as a black person probably mm. is... Grant. It's hard. <laughs> Being on your show as a black person? Yeah, that's rough. Probably very hard. It's good, though, if you come off, which you do, like you're a defender of the faith here, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm not, you're, I, you know. I, you're not sitting here going, yes, sir, Miss Ovi and Anthony. There's some, there are some, uh, there's some black things that I just don't like. Like, mm. look at I think, like, remember a long time ago, they were talking about black quarterbacks, and, like, Russ Limbaugh said something about black quarterbacks. Yeah. I'm like, look, there's enough black quarterbacks playing right now for you to be able to say some of them suck as a white person. To be able to go, you know what, Donovan McNabb sucks. Oh, you a racist. No, that nigga sucked. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah. I like uh, uh, the other motherfucker from Baltimore, Steve McNair, but this, it's like enough black quarterbacks now where you don't have to fucking... Right. Always enough. In other words, you're taking over one of the uh, white positions that. Uh, oh, we, slowly but surely. Had. You, but uh, you can't play it anymore. It's hold done. No. Hold on, Tony from Brooklyn. Brothers we got finally poke learn, learn how to throw him. <laughs> <laughs> we got Brian from DC wants to talk to Tony from Brooklyn. Brian says, "Oh shit, here we go." I'm a real. That uppity nigga ain't never watched Martin a day in his life. Never watched Martin. <laughs> I tell you that much. I've been listening since y'all niggas on um JSK in DC back in the day. And I've, I've, I've been listening. I've been listening since the, the first time I listened to this show. Anthony was talking about how his mom was banging. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guys. Hold on. Hold on. Guys. Hold on a second. Uh, some some shit like that, man. Come on, man. Uh, this dude, on. This dude here talking, talking here yeah. is very upperly mobile. Let me tell you why. Yeah. That's the Tony. The other dude, Brian. From DC, yeah. he he came at Tony <laughs> yeah. in a very black way. He certainly did. Tony's response should have been like, "Suck my dick, motherfucker! I watch Martin, nigga. You don't know what the <laughs> fuck I watch, bitch. I got I got all the seasons on DVD, faggot ass nigga." But he but Tony goes, "Listen, I have been a faithful. When you use the word when a nigga uses the word faithful, there's certain words nigga can't use. There's certain things nigga can't do. One is make the air quote sign. Right, never do that. And and two is go, you know, I've been a Faithful listener to anything. <laughs> so wait, Black wait, people, what, what, we hate on motion first. What, 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 what qualifies? <laughs> what what qualifies me as upperly mobile? Mobile? Is it, is it how much money I make? Is that what it is? No, yeah. You I got it, Patrice. I got it. I got what's going on here. <laughs> so because your punk ass, because your punk ass is making oh, about twenty five thousand a year, and I'm making about twenty five thousand a year, so I'm, I'm, I'm a faggot ass punk. That's what you're trying to say. So you're saying. Tony has a better job, makes more money than Brian just by not their voices? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, you don't want to go there, but I'll go yeah. there. Uh, Tony, what do you do for yeah. a living? What's that? What do you do for a living? I sell surgical equipment. All right. Fine. Brian from D.C., what do you do for a living? I sell crack. What? He sells crack. You sell cars? Oh, fuck sell cars. Wait a minute. Yes, he does. And I'm going to tell you what car sales me is because they, they this is new corporate America. All right. What they do. All right. They hire thugged out motherfuckers to relate to a nigga when he comes in. They have him at PC Riches around me where they go, what's up, nigga? Oh, is go, that it? Fuck that old cracker yeah. ass Panasonic. Yeah. Holy shit. Nigga, you got to buy a motherfucking nigga ass Sony, bitch. And you go, get the fuck out of here. Uh, I work at one of those job is a credit card dealerships. I ain't even gonna front. Like you know your job is a credit one of those shits. Yeah. I work at one of those. 
And he relates. You know, and, you know, and I relate to like, yo, nigga, you got to cop this. Yep, shit. they hire him. Oh, my he's God. I didn't know this too. was going yes, on. They hired, they hired a new brand of, 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 they hired different black men for different shit. Right. You Patrice, Patrice, he's that dude that they hire for the people that have no credit. You know what I'm saying? When they have that um, no credit, bad credit, you know, fucked up credit, come on down. <laughs> he's the one that they talk to when he comes down there. No That's niggas is buying surgical equipment. So you don't, <laughs> no, you don't no. need to relate to a nigga if a nigga uh -uh. My surgery equipment. He's also going. You know, um, how much is a scalpel? And, um, <laughs> scalpel. You know, a stethoscope. And I know how to spell it, uh, by the way. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you don't need to relate to like the the street brother as much as you do like where they have these new the new dudes that the the, the motherfuckers that go yo 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 in regular shit now. So now now you see a guy pull up to the car lot, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a black guy pulling up. In some piece of shit car, maybe his girl's dropping him off and he needs a car, you will come out to him, a conscious decision will be made in inside, you'll look out and go, all right, you yep. take this and guy. You, you, he yeah. takes him because he'll go out and he'll go, yo, man, you got a cop. Like he said cop. He, he yeah. knows all the lingo. He's black enough, so you can't be black. You have to have something black. Be black enough to have white people not understand you. So <laughs> he got You he has to. He ain't Will Smithy black. He's. Uh, let me give it, uh, like I don't know even who to say mm. on TV. Like, but he has to be able to go. He has to use words that motherfucking white people never heard of. That way, you know, because if a white guy goes out there and starts going, well, I think this automobile will be fine for you, sir, and so, I mean, you're looking like fucking white guy. What he's just trying to fuck me over again. Yeah. But then a uh, brother comes out and starts uh, talking, and, and and now you, you nigga, yo, yeah, because yo, black what's... people opens up like a door in his brain, like like it's. It's like the same fucking price the white dude would give him, but it just sounds better because I'm saying the shit. Holy and shit! And black people don't give a fuck about Hemi engines because I'm I want I was looking at that that Dodge uh, Charger, mm. but black people ain't really up on vroom like, vroom the, the Hemi's and they're up no. on the rim. So if he was selling a car to a motherfucker came in his place, he'd be like, Yo, nigga, yo, if you get these motherfucking twenties, he knows. The yeah. Yo, yeah, I saw one last week. I saw one last week with 22s on it. It, had, yeah, it, was, it was a regular shit. It wasn't, it wasn't the one with the Hemi. It was a black Dodge Charger, 2006. He didn't give a fuck about the Hemi, but he loved the <laughs> He didn't give a fuck about the Hemi. He just yeah. wants the no, friggin' no. rims. That's why when, right. we, when we go into a sneaker store, nobody... We're the easiest people to sell sneakers to because it's like white people... Old white men come in and go, Oh, the, the, the gel system. Oh, how does that God. Work? What about cross-training? Oh, Niggas go, Hey, yo, give me that shit because it matched my hat, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh, man. The hottest shoes could be for twenty dollars, but them shit you gotta put a one in front of that shit. We're not paying twenty dollars for no shoes, man. We, we we're we're paying at least a buck for some shoes. You need to pay more. We need to pay a hundred dollars. Don't matter. Wait a minute now. Wait this minute. motherfucker, Patrice, this Patrice, this Patrice is giving you fucking now. props. <laughs> Brian is saying uh, he's he's speaking. Patrice the truth. is totally but, like, but yeah. He's not happy with this. What's that? Tony, you're you're not happy about this. Oh man, I mean, that, that, come on. There's more. There's more. Oh, oh, there's more fucking Birkenstock, man. Like that, man. Come on now, man. What the fuck are all those loafers around the house, man? Loafers, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. What are you talking about? You living in a fucking project or a crackhead? Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Wait a minute. PG County, nigga. Obi, wait a second now. I'm learning here. Go ahead. The, this, the, the the which one's Tony? Tony's the uh, from Brooklyn. Okay. Upwardly mobile. Upwardly mobile. He's black. I'm going to yeah. tell you why. Mm -hmm. There's insults that a black man give another black man, right? What kind of insult is you wear loafers around the house? It's in, it's something that white people might do. Right. So you insult a motherfucker with something white people something might white. do. But if you go, so you go, wait a minute. I, what if I do wear <laughs> loafers around my house, you motherfucker? It means it's, you're but not it's, black. It's a, nigga, you probably walking around. You probably wear a robe, bitch. Cause white people, you uh, <laughs> your ass Scott wearing motherfucker. Nigga, what you do? Have a monocle, nigga. <laughs> Thurston Howell, motherfucker. We need to stop, man. All right, we, we really all right Tony, that. we gotta say goodbye. Oh my God. All right, man. Thank all right, you. thanks, oh, man. Black on black Brian, crime. Brian, you rock.
that's cool. All right, all right, all right. I'll stay good. You choose my nigga. All right, motherfucker. Thanks for the insight, man. All right, yeah. That's, uh... Call me later. We that's something. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, call me later. We got that's a couple more brothers really... on the line. We got Sarge from Baltimore. Sarge. <laughs> Eye-opening shit. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, OP, what's up with that, man? Every time I turn around, see, whenever whenever Patrice get on the line, yeah. you get all pro-black. But see, whenever Jimmy in there, oh, yeah, fuck the niggas, the niggas, they steal the niggas. That doesn't come from me. Cut that shit out. Yeah, everyone knows Anthony's the racist, not me. Uh, Anthony ain't racist. Anthony be having fun with this there shit. There you go. Fuck out I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Oh, wait, wait. That you stuff he says in the office you. isn't on the air. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're talking about the on air, Anthony. <laughs> hey, Opie throws around the word swoogie all the time. I like the word swoogie. No shit. At least Anthony know he a whore. He move out on Long Island and don't fuck with no niggas. That's right. <laughs> I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anthony know he a whore. Hey, before you hang up, hey, Anthony, hey, Anthony, if y'all do the country shit, do that Arnold Schwarzenegger shit again, man. That shit is funny as a motherfucker, cuz. I was watching motherfucker. Wait, wait, wait. To what? Nigga movie last night. I, I missed. The Arnold Schwarzenegger shit. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, my name is John. Dirk Bentley. Dirk Bentley. I, John Smith. Dirk Bentley. Yeah, D Dix. Dix Bentley. I still, I still got love for you, Opie, you pretty bitch. <laughs> Come on, Sarge. I'm That's not that bad. Oh, man. Imagine hearing that in a joint. Oh, shit. Hey, look, hey, look. This is the only time, this is the only time you can talk shit to Opie and shit when Jimmy ain't got his back. You, 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 and Jimmy always using college words and shit. You know you got college, college words. To to college Jimmy doesn't, Jimmy doesn't get my back. Dude, Jimmy always got your back. Jimmy's got my back, you think? Jimmy always got your back. Patrice has got my back, right, Patrice? Not often. Jimmy always got your back. <laughs> All right, Sarge. Jimmy always got your back. Hey, but I got love for you white motherfuckers, too. All right, Sarge, you all right. You all right. <laughs> wow. Oh, God damn. All right, now this, all, this stuff is coming in. John from Brooklyn. We're learning. What's going on? We want to learn about the black man today, I guess. What's up, John? Yeah, I want to about know each why other. When, why when the brothers, <laughs> why they wear on the hat the size of what their head is when they get a brand new hat, or even a hat in general. And this isn't just blacks; whites do it too. They'll have like the seven and a quarter still sticker still on. Hmm. It's to do anything. I have a I have a theory on it. Oh well, you talk about it. Uh, we we're just gonna have Patrice uh, explain it, but uh, you ask oh, the question ahead. and oh, give the ahead. answer. Patrice, could go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm just no, saying. I mean, the real, Patrice the real, is the real reason. Is to do anything that's completely not like okay. I'll tell you immediately how you know it's a white guy's hat. Uh huh. Immediately. It's bent. It's bent. It's bent. Front. Yeah, we know it's that. It's fucking bent. Bent. But the white the guys front. are starting to go with the flat. With the mm -hmm. with the flat, but not really white guys. The hip guys yeah. who are who are claiming hip hop. It's a it's a not as much as a color thing as a cultural thing. Anything to not be white. Right. So keeping your sticker. No matter how ridiculous it looks. I think it's fucking retarded. The sticker, I, don't, I don't wear my sticker. I've seen on the tags in the bill hanging, dangling in people's faces. And it's not to take it back. It's to, <laughs> it's to take it back. Because I've seen old ones with the sticker on it. Right. It's like, nigga, there's a sweat line on top of that motherfucker. You got the sticker? Well, you're not bringing wants, that back. He wants to take it back after three years of use. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, I don't gotta bring it back a Hartford Whalers hat. <laughs> I don't get the baseball cap that's straight across. It, I think it looks ridiculous. Uh, uh, my theory is that when you're walking through the mall as a hat store, you take it right off the rack and slap it on your head. It's like it's just stolen. Like, I just took this hat and that's it. <laughs> Why does it have to get to theft? Sir, <laughs> because that because just like stole show, it. This hat's brand new. I took it. It's just like uh, Patrice said. It's anything that is going to make white America look and go. Why are they different? Why do they have to do that and be different? All right. It's to be different than white America. A couple more. Let's go to Bill in Georgia. Bill. Hey, what's up, man? What up? Hey, I got a question, man. What's up with them saving up for 15 years to put rims on a 14-year-old Monte Carlo? That old gag. It's not yeah, an old gag. That, I don't man. get it either. Why the nice, really old why cars? Why the nice rims on the cars? Why? No, the rims are worth more than the fucking car. You got to have a nice car these days, though, too. You can't just. Yeah. It's not about. You know, I remember years ago it was. You would see a real piece of shit with nice rims on it. Yeah, but nowadays you just get laughed at. What's up with the rims in general? I don't get it. It's, like when I, I when know. I look at a nice car, I don't even look at rims. Nice feet, nigga. The same I thing you have with nice clean they fucking, shoes. What, they do. Hold on, they see what's on white, their TV. Listen, man. White Hold people. On, no, they don't. No, we don't. White people. 
black people have this unknown thing where we all know the same shit, but we don't reach out to each other. It's just, it's, it, it's it's very in your man. genetics. It's in our genetics. It's, that's why I say it's the same reason why like. A riot? How can a riot break down unless everybody feels the same? <laughs> <laughs> no one goes, all right, everybody, start fucking up shit. It just, it just happens. All right, everybody. Call a friend, pass it on. Cheer, cause OJ. It's like you don't, it, you don't announce that. What happens is when I, you just want to be as nice as possible and be. That's why rappers are like heroes because it, like these two arguments here, like the fucking the the Tony and and, 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 yeah. and uh, my man. It's because you you feel like you have to be this type of Negro to be upwardly mobile. But rappers have made motherfuckers that walk around with a tattoo on their neck, on their eyelids, say, suck my dick, nigga. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a motherfucking Phantom, which is the real car that the, that the Chrysler 300's trying to be. A Phantom for two hundred fifty thousand, and nigga, I'm gonna put ten thousand dollars worth of rims on that motherfucker to make it look to match my in, the inside of my fucking dashboard, bitch. <laughs> it's a, it's saying to you, motherfucker, suck my dick. <clears throat> it's saying I can. You know what? My clothing costs as much as a nigga's suit when he goes to Wall Street, motherfucker. My jeans and my motherfucking Seattle superstar and my hat, my Coogee hat. Come up to about as much as a white boy walking around in the street, and I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud. That's your suit. That that's my fucking <laughs> suit. I don't have to feel like I go to court, and I every day's casual day for me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm niggering but it up. Now, but now a white guy would walk by and not know from a fucking hole in the wall. But any black guy is gonna walk by you and go, and he knows that, what that this motherfucker is. has this, paid some money this for sharp. this shit. He knows right. this is sharp. This coochie hat, nigga, gonna know this. This hat's sharp, man. It's it does. It's not a. It's just. It's our way of not being you, but being you. <laughs> In your own <laughs> in your circle. Right. With that said, we go God to Russ. God damn. I'm going to have to take notes on today's no show. <laughs> i got to listen to the replay and write all this down. Russ in Ohio. It, it leads to this question. Hey, you guys have got to have Patrice on more often. I'm learning more about black people than I ever wanted to know. got a question for Patrice. Why is it a black guy can wear an oversized jersey and a hat sideways, looks cool. Norton does it. He looks like he's with Special Olympics. <laughs> he looks like he has cancer because it's not... <laughs> You can feel that Norton's really would never be a part of that. Norton is tight jeans and dark Martin boots. Mm -hmm. That's what Norton is. He has a tight jean, dark Martin build, and it ha and there's a certain walk you have to have to pull things off. It Sabbath t-shirt. I'm trying to think about the blackest person you got around that can almost be. Danny has the movements and the attitude of a black man. Really, Danny. Danny. He kind of looks a little black. He though. has a, he has a swagger that's black. It's a, it's a thing that Danny could pull off. Black mm -hmm. shit. He could pull it off because well, he has a thing about him. But like, um, I think because he lives among the brothers. I don't know what it is, but Danny has lives a thing. Among the brothers. It's, it's, it's an attitude, though. man. It's an attitude. You live of, among the brothers, Danny. Sort of, right? Mm. More than like E Rock does. Like, more than I do. Danny's a cornball, but he's he has a <laughs> thing with him. <clears throat> he has a thing with him. Look, he's like a cool dude. What nationality are you, by the way? Uh, like Russian Jew, actually. Wow, that's yeah. odd. You should have Danny dress up like a like a black dude and see if he can if he looks if he pulls <laughs> he it makes off. Makes I think he would. But like, look at E Rock, man. He's just oh, beaten. he's the whitest he's guy ever. Whiter. He's look at he's beaten. Look at his <laughs> yeah. shoulders. His shoulders <laughs> scrape the ground. <laughs> his self esteem is 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 in disarray. He just he desperately doesn't want to be black. And Danny, not Danny. Uh, e Rock looks in the mirror and wishes he could move like. Something <laughs> like other than a, a, what y'all made him. He's just a sad, <laughs> soggy kid, and he doesn't want to be like that. Soggy. If he wasn't a grown man, that's a high school shooting waiting to happen. It's, it's fucking E-Rock. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to smack his hat off. But you see a nigga walking, you don't feel like you want to slap it. But see, I'm not going to front, and I've said this before. I know how black I am. I'm, a, I'm black enough to go up to the high hundreds. In Manhattan, mm -hmm. maybe a hundred and forty fifth. Yeah, I'm. I'm all right, you, you go around the room. How high up could we all go? Um, for the people around America. Like, wow, that's okay. pretty good. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go for ahead. the people around America, it's a known fact. Uh, like if you're white, you, 
you don't go past 100, more or less. Usually you, you want to stay down in the 90s, but, right. you know, once you go into 100. go up, you go past 100, but it starts a, getting scary. It's a certain look, though. All right, that, so mm -hmm. go around the room. And how you how you handle yourself, how you walk, how you walk things like that. And right. your face is right. like the thousand-yard stare. What's oh, your look, face exactly. is? Exactly. We're on 57th Street right now. How how much higher could all of us I go? I ain't going to lie, Obi. Your face. <laughs> you, you better go downtown right now. Where, wherever, You're too high right wherever here. Wherever the Weezing Falls Center is, <laughs> where it's where it's kind of funny uptown. Like you might get to a hundred to some kind of like little little um, trendy bar. Or Weird something. nook up there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we did a photo shoot up there for uh, Boston. Yeah. Some Boston, Boston. A pull out right. for a Boston newspaper, and they had us. How high up, man? That was scary. We were, we were scary high up there. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. I would say 120, because 120 is becoming, is, is becoming yeah. gentrified. Yeah. <clears throat> but any place where, you know, there wasn't a bunch of white people that lived in, was it, you could never go to 130. Like, you couldn't. 130 is bad. Would, you would be uncomfortable. You What's could, up with 130? It, that's where I it's. I thought 100, 100 was scary. They smell nah, the fear man. on you. Yeah, and they could see your hips move like somebody who rollerblades. <laughs> 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 when you walk in shoes, you really, <laughs> you move your hips like a nigga that. <laughs> you couldn't go past 130. He could go past 130 and above because Anthony, people would think yeah. Anthony's a cop. He looks he looks grizzled and, and <laughs> look, like, he has a grizzled look like a narc. Look, he does. He was Eric not past 125th. He's another one. Uh Dan is possible he could go up to 145 to 150 cuz they would think he was a fucking cop or a college kid that even so gangsters, wait, wait a minute, even gangsters see you would get robbed before Than or before e, e, e Rock because black people and Puerto Ricans know that that prey on people. You will get too much heat around the neighborhood if you did something to somebody like Than walking around your neighborhood. Yeah, almost like the Charles Stewart wow. situation. Where that's why you know that black people didn't kill Charles Stewart because no black man would kill a fucking white a pregnant white woman. The hardest nigga wouldn't kill a pregnant white woman in the hood. So, so when that story you came might out, get robbed. When that story came out, you were like, oh, my God. You're like, nigga, get the fuck of out of course. here. Right, Ain't right. no niggas do. <laughs> niggas don't do that. Don't they're not robbing no pregnant fucking white woman in a in a Volvo in the hood. It, it don't happen because we know what would happen is what happened when he said a nigga did it. Is they come and they rake the entire neighborhood. You don't look. You don't look like a cop. <laughs> Opie logic is the greatest. You don't look like a cop. So you, that's why I'm in trouble. You are in trouble because you don't look like a cop, and you're too old to be any good to society to somebody. <laughs> so you you look like you could be robbed. You don't look like a, a college student. You're not a white girl. You look like you can be robbed because it's like you look like the top of motherfucker like that a cop would fuck with too because he would go the fuck are you doing a yeah what are you looking you for drugs, drugs or and a black dude or, or whoever a motherfucker that's that's preying on people go fuck up man what you looking for man you a cop nigga oh, no and you're shit. not a cop we should do a contest we all start walking from right here <laughs> and see who bails last that's see who uh... bails last oh my <laughs> oh wow see it like we'll play chicken and I'm not even kidding because I uptown I, chicken you I, you I keep going it. but Anthony no. will bail because Anthony's really doesn't keep. I've taken. He'll a, bail at ninety. I'll bail. Yeah, I've taken the walk uh, north just for the hell of it, and I get up to like eh, maybe like one ten ish, and I get scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I can't go much higher than that. One ten and Amsterdam. One ten and Amsterdam, or one ten and um. Like one ten in Broadway is perfectly white. One ten well, in yeah, Western Avenue is there. perfectly oh. white. Yeah, Western yeah. Avenue is at like one oh six. But one ten in Broadway, one ten in Columbus. Yeah, no, it's not that bad. That's but white, but I was, east I was, side one ten. That's you, what I was saying. You know. I was yeah. more east of that. East side one ten is. I, I got scared around one ten. It was it was broad daylight on like a dumb Tuesday afternoon. I get nervous in the Bronx. I, after one forty fifth, one forty fifth in Broadway. That might as well be another country that hasn't even been discovered yet. They can sniff. I'm not from around there. Haven't been discovered. I'm not even kidding. There are I big slave ships pulling up. I can't even imagine what one forty fifth is all about. It's a whole other time and place. I, I, I tell you what, because we've been aware of this our entire lives. Over a hundred, you guys start wondering what the hell's going on, right? One forty five. I, can't, I couldn't even tell you what's up there. 145, they have slang. Like all the I know, this is all the street knowledge I have. <laughs> and this is what you've been told. To survive in 145 yeah. is knowing that when some Puerto Rican or Dominican says something to me, that's a question. Uh huh. And I don't understand it. I don't go, huh. I go, nah, I'm good. 
Because it's, it's going to be a drug because it's a new, yo, got that fish scale. You go, ah, <laughs> I got that fish scale. I got that fish scale. Or that, um, they call it, um, oh, they call, they call it, uh, 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 oh, it's fish scale, but it's another one they, they call, um, yo, smoking that, uh, sh- ah, forgot it. But see, that should get you killed. Fish scale is the new shit for Coke, and they go, look at that fish scale, and I go, nah, I'm good. What? But uh-huh. I don't know what the Coke fuck is it called is. Coke fish scale? Fish scale, now. Why? I don't know, nigga. <laughs> 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 all I know is it's fish scale. All, all he knows is he's good. Nah. I know it's just one guy just nah, making this shit up for everybody They else. used to call it look, Sherman. Man, Sherman look, look. Hemsley used to be, um... Yeah, yeah. Sherman Hemsley Sherman used Hemsley to, used to be something. And, some kind of drug. <laughs> Got Sherman Hemsley, yeah, I got do you? Sherman Hemsley. Where is he? Mm-hmm. I'm looking for Wheezy. I'm, I'm looking, looking for, for some, some Wheezy, Wheezy nigga. <laughs> so you would be scared at what? 145? After 145th, I get. What, what's the difference at 145 and above? It's a it's murder. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. Now you just talk him an all out murder. murder. It's niggas sell drugs. It's like going in the ocean where the sun doesn't uh, shine anymore, right? With, with yeah, you get the fish with, with the, the light on top of the head. light on their head. And niggas big teeth sell and... drugs like it's legal. Because it is pretty much. They don't see. They don't go. Motherfucker at one. Say one sixty. Sixty. He'll go. He'll go. Motherfucker go. Yo, I got that cocaine, nigga. Like you go. What? What? You, you, it ain't no trick word for it. Yeah, like Washington no. Square is like, hey, got that floaty booty, got that booty booty. <laughs> hey, got that honey child, got that tickle tickle. One forty five niggas go, yo, you snorting, motherfucker? Because I got, got some shit for you to snort up your motherfucking nose, nigga, which is coke. Pulls a kilo out of his pocket so he can look at it. Yo, when you come out of the diamond store, fat man, I got cocaine for you. A brick, <laughs> nigga. Maybe two bricks, bitch. That's amazing. In the streets. That's amazing. It ain't sneaky no more. The fucking cops leave you alone. Do they give toys yeah. up there? Toys. <laughs> toys. I want to get on toys. one of those double decker buses. It's like oh, double decker bus and take some English people. No and Dominicans on one People from Ireland up there. It's a look that oh, even if yeah. you try to fake it, they'll see right they through. Know. They know you not. You not from here. Even if you not from there, you ain't from. What I do. It's like ha- it's like being cut and swimming at the Great Barrier Reef. There's nothing you could do about There's it. No- you You're not going to fool know. the shark into saying, I'm not bleeding. <laughs> I can walk up there and they know that I'm from the hood, but they know that I'm not there. From there, from right. From there. Wow. That just, well, I never have to worry about it. I've never, ever gone up there. I would never go up there. I have no reason to. Why would I? That's the same thing in Long Island, though. You know, yeah. it's just it's like this. I I don't need to go to Long Island. Like I see a black guy walking around my neighborhood. I know he doesn't belong there. I just know unless it. he does. Unless but he's working. You, but you would know one that did belong. Right. This, exactly. You would know one that lived there. You would know one. Yeah. That you go. This guy's from. Uh, yeah, he's, this guy's from Long Island. Could tell. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pulls his Mercedes around into his house. There, I got the wife, the kids. We're just like Friendly. a commercial. What's Friendly. the howdy neighbor? What's the worst area in New York? Gotta be I would say parts parts east, of the Bronx, East right? New York, Brooklyn. East New York, Brooklyn used to be. See, I don't even know that. They're anymore. building it up, man. They got million dollar, um, million dollar uh, 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 brownstones over there now, man. They they clean it up and they're getting ready to build. How are they convincing the, someone the to buy New one Jersey of those? Nets, man? The the, yeah. the Nets stadium that's gonna happen. Over there. It's happening. They did buy the Nets. Wow. It's, it's, going, it's going down, man. That's they they, be they amazing. eminent yeah. domain in motherfuckers over I there just right know now. From reading in the paper, there's still a lot of fucking killing going on yeah. in Brooklyn. And they didn't, but, they didn't buy the Nets, they kidnapped them. Well, where <laughs> I live at. Playing here. And I have to, and it's like, it's hard for you to understand, but I think I completely, I'm almost a white guy. It just, it's because You're, I think in terms of property and I think in terms of future, and I look at something bad that happens to somebody else. And I go, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. It's unnecessary. One of my neighbors get his window broke because he's on the corner with kids. It's a, it's a, they're they're half million dollars, million dollar places, right? And 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 it's in an area where no one can afford to buy them except for motherfucking white people and Chinese stockbrokers. So the kids come and they fucking oh, rocks through the window. Jesus. I used to be one of them kids that would just, throw, <laughs> and you don't think. Now when you look kid, like, hey. And I'm like, oh, God, they're breaking windows. If there's something that has to be done around here, we have to meet with the condo association. It's like, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like that. I'm like that now, oh, but I'm man. trying to stay hood. Like, I'm trying to stay hood. Yeah. Like, talking to the foreman, like, yo, man, how the fuck you going, nigga? You know what happened? Why ain't you got no brothers working <laughs> up here? You know what happened? You lost your accent. 
It's like when someone comes here from another country, slowly but surely they lose their accent. You've lost it's your accent. It's not an audible accent. It's like this yeah. um, ultra-high-frequency accent that you can't hear, but but they know it. They sense it in your voice. Because I want things to be better. Any nigga that wants things to be better, a nigga that don't want things to be better, hears it. So I'm going to say fish scale is yeah. uh, actually crack, not coke. All right, it's still coke. It. <laughs> It's something. Fucking, what do they one think it's made out of? Cookie mix? <laughs> All right, let's fucking shit's cocaine, asshole. There you go. Let's go to Doug. Well, because it shines like fish scale. Uh, oh, is that it? Yeah, oh, okay. oh, we just made that up with so much confidence, too. That kind of sounds like it. Like, scale. you know, because you have I, I just, fish I just scales. Read it. You read it? I just, no, someone uh, who's educated about that stuff. That makes sense, though. It does. Ask them what the new word for, for weed is. It's some new word that they just, out of nowhere. I just get all my information from rap, so I have a clue. Yeah. Of what At the least fuck you're. Is going on. I can't even understand enough of rap to decipher it. It's like a whole nother language <laughs> that I don't know any piece of to even decipher it. Yeah, let's go to Doug in Baltimore. Doug. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. I want to answer me one thing. Why does a brother man got to walk in the street and not on the sidewalk? Black man walk in the street well, and not even, on the sidewalk? Even worse. Yeah, I don't know. Why do uh, black men walk right in front of your car? To say fuck you. Yeah, it is. Every, everything yeah. we do. But you're that confident. Fuck, yeah. Everything Hold we on, do that man. white people don't get, Opie, but you're is that to confident say that, fuck that someone's you. not going to just, you know, take you out? It's a dare. A white it's guy a, ain't going to run over a black a, guy. You know what it is? It's a dare. It's, it's a respect happen. thing. I've cut off a, I've cut off two motherfuckers driving. I'm a, I'm a, a real fucked up driver. I'll get, I'll get in there. I won't turn a blinker sometimes. Oh, just blam. Me and you'll probably drive exactly the So one day the same. this dude came up to me, rolled the windows vehicles. down, and this motherfucker, <laughs> he had the same truck I had, the rims and the this and that and the third, and this motherfucker was like, yo, man, what the fuck? I go, look, man, it wasn't personal. Um, This ain't no road rage situation. It is business. It, I, I, I didn't pick you out to say you're weaker than me. I just cut off what I could. <laughs> wow, wait a minute. You, you fucking and the, killed and him and with the, logic. And the motherfucker went like this. All right, yo. <laughs> Because he didn't want to do that. No. But if I had to say, yo, nigga, I did what I did, then it's like, it, it's a respect thing, and one of us could die over fucking respect. I would, you, you, that happens on the road all the time. I, I was dealing with a truck uh, a while back. I wanted, I wanted in front of this truck so fucking bad, because I hate being behind trucks in Manhattan. Right. They take forever to take off from lights. You can't get around and maneuver. Uh... They're constantly getting cut off by the cabs. So if you're behind a truck, you're going 10 times slower than if you weren't behind them. So I'm doing all these moves. I finally find a spot. And believe me, I fit in it. Right. I'm not cutting him off per se. Right. I'm not like making it where he's got to really make a, a move. But I pull in front of him. Right. So up the line a little ways, I get stuck at a fucking light. And he pulls up next to me and rolls his window down. And gives me shit. I got a fucking truck here and you're, you're cutting me off. And I pulled the same thing. It was like... I wasn't cutting you off. I go, I'm trying to get out of the city just like you are. Right. I go, I really, it's not you, it's the truck. I go, I just don't want to be behind <laughs> your truck because it moves a lot slower than I'm going to go. Your I go, wife could have been driving. Yeah. I'm cutting her off. And I told her, I go, you watch, when this light turns green, you're never going to see me again. <laughs> and, 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 and he, he was, was cool. Like, he was totally cool. He goes, he goes, all right, man. I, I, he goes, I, I got you. Cool. It's cool. All right, listen, we got the new name this for happens. weed. We got Sarge from Baltimore. Cab drivers, though, will never get sympathy from me. They'll always, I will yell savage out the window every time when they uh, oh, get in an argument with, Sarge. with me. Hey, OP, look, y'all got me enthralled today. You want to know what Sherms was? Sherms are uh, loose cigarettes dipped in embalming fluid. Now, there's a derivative called Love Boat, specialized in D.C., where that's marijuana sprayed with embalming fluid. And it gets you fucked up, fucked up to the point where you will stand in front of a car, jump off a bridge, or out a window. You have any mod? <laughs> Yeah, embalming fluid. Look, weed is dro now. Dro, you get dro, that's hydro weed, they grow it underwater. That's your your street tactics for the day. Thank you very much. Dro? <laughs> it's called dro? I've heard of hydro. Yeah, hydro. Yeah, dro. Right. Hydro's not a new Are you though. from the D.C., Baltimore area? Yeah, hey, I'm from Baltimore City. Are you, is that close to D.C. at all? Uh, yeah, we're 40 miles close away enough. from D.C., but D.C. and Baltimore, we always go... Go against it. I'm, I'm from where they make the wire and, and the block and all that craziness. In Baltimore, we, we real fucked up in Baltimore, but they real fucked up in D.C. too. Dude, so you know what? Yeah, when we take the train to Washington every once in a while and they go through the projects of Baltimore where they're oh, all wow. boarded up, 
what is what is that about? And then you see some guy, his car is parked out in front of one of these. Yeah, there's one like person living in this neighborhood where the, hey, the ten buildings it, around him are boarded up or on fire. And that's the, that's in, the part of world, Baltimore I couldn't go to. Yeah, <laughs> in the words, look, in the words of, of Chris Rock, that's Martin Luther King Boulevard. Run! Martin Luther King name is fucked up. That's not yeah. Martin Luther King. There's gonna be some violence happening. <laughs> there is no nice Martin Luther King book. Oh, dude, and all of a sudden the train the, doors open. You're like, oh my god, why did you do that? I grew up, why did you I, do that? I grew up in the projects, but I used to like it was. Just, I, 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 it wasn't fun. What was yours? The Good Times Project? Yeah, right, like, yeah. It was the projects, but there wasn't any real we're, we're, shit going on. No one got shot when I grew up, dude. No one got shot. No one got killed. We used to be able to fight yeah, I was when definitely. I was young. Yeah. You can't. No kids fight anymore. No kids grow up. It's dangerous you shit. Step on someone's foot and look at them the wrong way. You can get murdered by a 13-year-old. Like, if a 13-year-old fucking does something, man, you gotta talk to him, like, with this respect thing. Like, you have to be a mentor. He has to respect you in some weird... Like he's you're my dad kind of way. He got to be cool and respect you, but you can't go out there talking about yo motherfucker. What the fuck? Is, Cause he got a brother somewhere that yeah murder, stepped on your that'll foot. Murder you, man. Yo, what's up, partner? There's nobody. Why you gonna have to <laughs> deal with worse murder? Than that one. There's nobody that would murder you. That is nuts. Murder. I love that and menace to society. Yeah. Hey, what's up, partner? And that guy came over because uh, the one guy had uh, sex with his cousin and up, gets her pregnant and says, nah, it wasn't mine. And someone else, he comes over, what's up, partner? And they beat the shit out of him and, and he you came back. Around East Coast, if you fuck around in L.A., you'll get killed for for looking the wrong way. You'll get killed for being, you, you cannot, you think this shit's from the movies. You cannot fucking wear certain colors yeah. in L.A. Yeah. When I go to L.A. and I rent a car. If they have a red car or a blue car, I can't rent it. Holy I have to rent shit. a white car or a gray car. I don't fuck around. I don't. I wear green <laughs> or Neutral I wear colors. orange. Is there any other bad colors? We all know the red and the blue. It's the red and the blue. Red and the blue is all that matters out the there. Blue. It was pink for a second here, but it's um, gonna get fucked in the ass. <laughs> don't wear red or blue. What was up with the pink? And don't do fingery shit. Don't do shit. Don't go, what's up? What Peace if you sign? sign into some deaf person? <laughs> Nigga, you might get killed. <laughs> That's for real. Motherfuckers throwing up gang signs. And somebody did a joke like that, but you could get killed yeah. doing the wrong L.A. Don't f and, and here's the difference between L.A. and New York. Damn, I was just trying to say hi to Kathy Buckley. Driving down Crenshaw. This is the difference between really L.A. and New York. Deaf, and she's a comic yeah. and you would say hi. New York. And, yeah, me, you know, me. <laughs> Kathy Buckley. No way. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Kathy <laughs> Buckley hasn't been known since. Is Arsenio Hall first season. That's what makes that it so is good. 89. I like the obscure thing. All right, how about? Thank you. Yeah. In Chicago, I was just saying hi to Karen Meyer. There you go. Karen Meyer. There you go. There's nobody deaf famous. There's nobody famous. <laughs> famous deaf people. Who's famous yeah, deaf where, where people. Where are the deaf famous people? So my joke's uh, funny. Damn. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch what color you oh, wear. Oh, 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 oh Jesus, oh. LA ain't fucking around, dude. Here's something for Patrice. Mike in Jersey. Mike. Yo. Um, yeah, they call weed Kush now. Kush? Kush? Yeah, Kush. Nah. Like, the real good shit is called Kush. Man, they got so many terms, and you, and anytime somebody says something to you that you don't know, this is, this is, this is, just so you know, anytime lesson. you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, and somebody says something to you that ain't supposed to be saying something to you, all you do is go, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Because they, they're they selling you drugs. Yeah. Any any talk that they don't know what the fuck, they're not asking you how's your day, or hi, hey, you look great, where'd you go get your tan, or anything. They, they're trying to sell you drugs, and you go, nah, I'm good. I always assume it's just a preface to a mugging. Like, any time, I don't look people in the eye yeah. in the city. Show them how you answer, Andy. And I So here's how I, because <laughs> usually, usually it is a preface to a mugging, because it's like, yo, you got the time? Or something like that, and I just go. I don't know what the hell is going on with anything, and I <laughs> like, and I keep walking, throwing my arms up, and just kind of yell, and and, and I, I just go. I don't even know what the hell. <laughs> And I keep walking, and I get, like, in the road more. Oh, you was just born in a suburban cul-de-sac. That's have, me. I don't make street. eye contact. I don't make eye contact. Like, I see a group of young brothers walking down the street. I will not make eye contact with any one of them. Not peripherally, not anything. I'll know they're there. It's like the how Michael Corleone was supposed to drop the gun. Right. Like, I don't look them right in the eye, but yeah, I know exactly right. what they're up to at every, every given moment. And, and don't be a victim. Don't be right. like, oh, boy. No, no, no. The, the other day. 
me and my girl walking down the sidewalk. We're, we're going to eat somewhere. <laughs> and uh, there's a black guy walking behind us. Now, I don't know him from a hole in the wall. Guy could be a Wall Street executive. Don't I don't know because I can't see him. I don't want to turn around and look and assess him either. So what I do, I cross the street. I just crossed the street. I went, boop, cross the street. Worry about it later. Because I ain't going to be a fucking victim. Well, I, this is the thing I used to do. Uh, this, one one of the, my, my major bits back in the day I, was... Hysterical. Was, the skinheads. Listen, don't let guilt... Because this I, I firmly believe this country is falling apart because of white guilt. Yep. Because the people in charge are starting to feel guilty, but they're still in charge. And they're not doing the right thing. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like a white guy will get his ass beat by a black dude who's sitting there going, you know, this is... You know, like put it this way: you ever see Crash and it's like, motherfucker, mm. I ain't trying to rob you. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry, you know. And it's like, yes, I am, nigga. I just yeah. want to chase you. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, give me your money, nigga. That was a good one. Wasn't it? I played you with your own white guilt. And I'm like, look, man, if I'm walking in Kentucky and I see five bald white dudes walking, so I ain't gonna wonder if they all got cancer. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm running. Yeah, get I'm the like, nigga, it, it, I'm like, I don't give a fuck if they was like, wait, can you get our medicine because we're too weak to go to the store ourselves. <laughs> Fuck you, cancer KKK. I need the old cancer hanger nigga trick. <laughs> I haven't done that joke in so long, but it's cancer like, nigga, I'm not going to die from my... It's like when you walk through the mall and somebody goes, oh, can I talk to you for a minute? And you go, you're too weak to go, no. I do. Ah, how about, how about ah. at Marshall's? Can I have your phone number? No. I say no. Keep, no. keep typing. Keep doing. I'm gonna. I don't want a relationship with you. Ahead. No. And they get mad. They get this huffy thing. But it's like, I say no all the time to all that crap. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't need this to buy something. No. Let's go. Sean. Uh, Sean in the Bronx has something. Sean. Yeah, I'm a fireman in the city. I wanted to ask uh, Patrice. Uh, the projects. You can escalades all around. You get the rims, the whole nine yards. You go up in there. There's piss and shit all over the elevators. Then you get inside the apartment. It looks like shit, but they got the best electronics. Everything else you Why can imagine. Why would Patrice know this? <laughs> I, I, I love how they <laughs> ask you a question like, how come there's escalades? And then, well, let me pull out my chart of districts. Because, because well, here's the question. I, I, how come I, because black I don't, have nice you shit do. but live in the projects? Because you can afford to have nice shit when you live in the projects. Before I bought a house, before I bought a house, my rent was four dollars and ninety two cents. <laughs> it's simple economics. If you walk into my bedroom, I had a forty seven inch computer monitor. <laughs> <laughs> you see this Seattle Sonics? Uh, here's what I used to do when I had a roommate. I threw away T-shirts. Any, when I wear it, I throw it away. One time, that's One it? time I would wear it and throw it in the garbage. Now, oh, man. I wa ever since I've come into White World, See? I wash Welcome them. to White World. I clean my sneakers. I get I I used to get my jeans dry clean all the time. So if you every month you have an escalade, bill. You, here's what you can do. When when you when if this 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 the fireman, you what you could do is you have your escalade, you pick your bitch up, right? I bet you just fucking you don't need to take them to the to the house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you take them to the hotel because you can afford it because you don't pay you that don't much pay rent at the, the projects. Project. And you go home and you play your video games. Your boys come over because they all live in the same building. <laughs> Y'all smoke weed. You you play and in the projects a nigga can have a house by himself. Like a a a 17 year old kid can pay the rent in the projects. So he has a 72 inch TV. He has a fucking stainless steel refrigerator. He has a pit bull, and he has his Escalade. He oh. takes bitches to the hotel to fuck him, and he sleeps. And that that's why you it's such a nice thing. But when you go into White World, yeah, you learn what Leeson is. You learn what Fannie Mae is. You learn yeah. what Blasey this is. Interest rates. Freddie and Mac. You know what it is. You know what the fuck it is, and you and your mindset changes. That's why you go into bricks and see some really nice shit. But you're like, why is there piss everywhere? Because you know what? Here's is inside my house. You never. Let me tell you when it changed. When that shit changed. When they start putting roofs on the projects. When they start putting pointy roofs instead of making them. It, it makes people feel like it's their home. The projects don't feel like your home. So you go like, fuck this elevator, I'm pissing it. But you go in your particular little area, and it's kind of nice, or yeah. whatever. Or the landlord, you're not responsible for anything. It's not. It's, it's what they call burden of ownership. There's no burden of ownership. It's like, nigga, don't, sit, nigga, don't put your feet on my couch. That's your shit. 
Don't put your fingers on my TV. That's your shit. But you know what? Piss on the floor because it ain't my shit. <laughs> Piss in the elevator. When you shit get in, in the that stairwell. When you get in my truck, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Yeah, you ever see? I watch people. White women for some reason decide they take their shoes off and they put their feet on the dashboard of a car. Yeah, yeah. Just do that in a nigga's car. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitches, your empty stinking ass foot on my dashboard. Of my Escalade, get off your of ashy feet off my it's, fucking. It's a it's a priority thing, man. It's like, but you can't judge us. Don't judge us. It's just like it took me a few years to start white whirling it up. When bill collectors used to call me, I would go, "Who's this?" Well, you oh, hey, why don't you suck my dick? <laughs> Holy shit! What are you gonna do to me, fuckface? I owe you five G's. I owe it. I, and he goes, "Well, we'll take money out your account. Why don't you suck my dick and take it?" <laughs> I know you can't take it because you know why you didn't do it yet. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> so ever since Holy I tried shit. to get a house, yeah, and bill collectors call me, I get nervous because I don't want to fuck up that 780. You got a nice credit rating. I got a nice a credit 780, rating. 780, you're very nice. I dude. said, nigga. What do you need, sir? I get real slavey. Lord, <laughs> Nassau. Nassau, I just don't want to. I it, wants to stay in the house. <laughs> I was, at and T. I just want to dispute it, but I just can't. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. <laughs> I just want to dispute it, sir, but I just can't. We got to take a break. <laughs> We've been at this for an hour and a half straight. God, it's just damn. amazing radio. Uh, the education we get. We, we got Dane Cook calling in in a few minutes. Damn. Here. It's the Opie and Anthony show. We'll c continue in just a bit here. <laughs> Tell me you paid that fucking casual. All right, let's go to Skunk Boy. Skunk Boy. <laughs> I'm fucking put a foot right through that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Skunk Boy. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, I just wanted to beg you guys. Please, you got to do the country top ten. I think Patrice is going to come in yeah. soon, so we'll have to do that next time. We got Dane Cooks calling back. We need a oh, solid yeah, hour to do phone. that country uh, music. Yeah, it takes a while. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Punch Sorry. it out. Sorry. We were going to do it today, but we went off on an hour and a half tangent, which is fine. Negrology. <laughs> Uh, you should teach a course, man. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna teach a course and kicking a fucking Anthony's it, goddamn back headlights out. No. I'm gonna baseball bat. What, his what's car. the problem? I was talking oh, about I'm so the car. Disgusted with your cash, you motherfuckers, and can't get me a goddamn Panasonic. We we're working on it. We're gonna work on that. Shit. We weren't kidding. Get you a that Panasonic. That hurts me. That's more money I got in the bank. You, that way. That hurt my feelings. Well, it's everything's relative, you know. It's ah, all... shut the fuck up! <laughs> not... That's what I say to the milkman, nigga. He's We're not... both in show business. He's not buying a thousand dollar Sonics. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. See, and what I've saved over the years, like yeah, uh, look, wearing, you know, You're looking like a hook of shit. You could right, exactly. Uh... Look, we don't have to look nice in the morning. So yeah. the same old shit every day. I, I, you uh, know, you, you better have at least high eight figures. <laughs> oh, that this guy, forget it. He's got his you, communion money. <laughs> you, all you have to do is plunk down seventeen ninety five for rollerblades cash, and that's it. <laughs> I know. You son of a bitch. Yeah, Opie I'm spending really more. into uh, material things. Nah. Fuck. You got even... the same vehicle you've had for a while now, right? You, you want to know what's really sad? I couldn't tell you how much money I make right now. It's not important to me. It's got to be it's important to a point. Thirty, forty thousand dollars a year. Every once in a while, I gotta ask Ant. We more than that. Ant knows. I don't know. You fucking right, Ant knows. Cause one time, what he did. Oh, well, don't drive that. To, oh no, I knew before. Do that. not Look. drive that car anywhere near me. I'm gonna do a header right through the windshield. I knew before that. I keep tabs. Because obviously, I know I do very, very well. But an actual figure, I asked Ant like about three or four months ago. I was like, "Are you kidding? Really?" I was like surprised. I make sure, <laughs> like I, I get. Do you? I call our agent up. And I get statements from them. Yeah, that's And I, I get all the codes to all the bank accounts, so I know I can look in and check balances and yeah, to make see sure where things went. This is very interesting. <laughs> and like, this is very do you interesting. Do that? As fucking Eric Logan wouldn't give me seventeen ninety five to do a show on his fucking channel, Eric. Seventeen ninety five. I asked for. Elo. He he offered me ten dollars. I asked for seventeen dollars. All right. No. Elo's not, Elo's not gonna hide. He'll call. Son of a bitch. I heard a different story myself. Yeah, of course you did. He I heard course, of course. course. Of fucking course he did. I heard your agent priced you out. No, he didn't. Because oh, I know what, what agents don't price you out. You price yourself out because they don't <laughs> make up a price that you don't agree with. <laughs> I priced myself out. Did I really, Eric? 
Well, we'll say he'll call us. When this motherfucker just told me a story that has me hunting his car, I'm stalking your car Don't, don't touch that his thing car. Stays, stays that in the garage. That he, that he, I only drive in Long Island. I only drive it on Long Island. On a special road they built for me yesterday. You, fu- you know what? I'm going to take a shit right on the racetrack. Right. This thing will never cross into New York City <laughs> limits, man. All right, listen, listen. We got You'll t- never drive that in New York? I will never we drive that Dane in New York. We got Dane Cook on the line. He's very busy pretty... today. He's, he's uh, calling to say hi. Dane. What's up, Dane? Is that Dane? Is that Patrice? Yeah. Is yeah. that Dane? What is Patrice pontificating about? <laughs> is this orgasm Dane? Is this what, what, 40,000? What, what white person has stepped on Patrice's toes this week? We're learning a lot. First of all, Dane, don't you call in with this I'm almost famous fucking positivity from L.A., fuckface. Don't forget, <laughs> we was we started out together hating the world Bitch ass nigga, now you, now you smoke love joints with everybody, and you, and there's rumors about you on page six. Canoodling. All, all of a sudden, I'm angry, Negro. <laughs> fuck, you, fuck you, motherfucker. All of a sudden. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I'm, uh, oh, yeah. At least I stay. Yeah, I stay on. consistent. I think you've been angry ever since you stepped on that stage for the first time. I'm a well, nigga from really? Boston. You know it got. You weren't doing Gilligan's yeah. Island uh, jokes up there. I had to call Dane one day and tell him though he's changing the game. Dane changed the fucking game, man. Anybody, mm-hmm. I def- I spent a lot of time defending this motherfucker because people yeah. go, Dane, co-. I go, do you know this motherfucker? is famous and no one knows him <laughs> this nigga this nigga won an oscar and he wasn't even in a movie <laughs> dane is bigger than the business you know what i'm saying it's like it's like you can't wish he making it despite hollywood it, you can't yeah it was you, very uh what do they call that grassroots you, yeah. he fucking rules the world how can you fucking say you can't and now he's in movies yeah. throwing him in movies he's... I even went to rehab and I've never done a drug in my life <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, for I publicity like <laughs> well, well Dane in New York they're saying that you were canoodling with Jessica Simpson that's uh, popping up again I know we we did we fucking hung out at the party and canoodled yeah, it was in the paper. It said uh, you were canoodling, but then I know canoodling is like kissing and snuggling, and it said you just were whispering in each other's ears all night, and whenever like she would go somewhere, you would be following behind her kind of, and, and you'd hook up again, no. and a lot of whispering, no, whispering. No, first, of all, first of all, you're whispering because, you know, they're playing the music so loud. That's what I said, see? That's it. So, and no, the cl- we sat in one little VIP section. We hadn't seen each other in like two months. So we were just talking about the movie and all that, and then we both left. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's clear they're, this up. They're Dan. both in New York promoting a, a employee of the month, and of That's course right. they're going to be hanging together. Let's clear this up, Dan. You wasn't whispering to her where y'all was going to snort coke and fuck. <laughs> yeah, Patrice, that's exactly. All right, you know, just making so sure well. that's not. I make because that's what motherfucking Hollywood be, you know, coke and fucking. So it's just about the movie. Fish Life is going out. good. We are just making sure. I make sure my friend Dane ain't out there doing crazy shit. I'm doing that new strawberry quick uh, cocaine too. <laughs> strawberry doing. quick. Hey, how's the dog, man? I'm, he's good, man. He's doing all right. The beast is good. Is he still good? Good. I love his dog. Dane got like a small Doberman. I love that dog. Yeah. Yeah. They got like a, the miniature Dobermans, but they're like Chihuahuas, but they're not as uh, crack, you know, weird. Yeah, he's laid like, back. He's they don't cool. look like they're on crack. They're like a, yeah. It's like a little dog, but I've a, what a big dog, like big dog confidence. Attitude, yeah, yeah, I hate so. those little yappy, shaking dogs. Yeah, I love that dog, man. And, and, and now here's what, I, here's what I asked Patrice. Now, that was a nice question about my dog. How are your glass dildos? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> everyone knows about your glass dildos. <laughs> we were talking about his sex swing that's hanging from his garage. <laughs> it's in his garage now because he doesn't want to stank up his house. <laughs> With a rug and everything. I got a area rug in the middle Ooh, in case. Nice. I haven't talked to Patrice in a long time I need to just sit in a room and listen to you tell me everything for like three days straight without <laughs> yeah. a word <laughs> you gotta get updated on his life cause he's uh he has more whiteness in his life these days oh, yeah. I really, he, it's I really, the whiteification uh, of Patrice there's only a few things in this world that I really uh, miss and that's uh, commiserating with uh, Patrice O'Neill about what the hell he's getting himself into <laughs> <laughs> always wondering cause everybody always wonders like why, Patrice? Why aren't you? <laughs> well, what? That'll be the, always the question. Tell Dane about your girlfriend. She's gaining weight. My girl's getting. F- oh yeah, just, well, he don't want to know about that. Dane is fucking Jessica Simpson. What do you know about yeah. my fat girl? Noodling with Jessica. What, uh, well, we learned that today. She's worried that she's getting fat, and you said you would leave her. But that's absolute. If your girlfriend, if your hot girlfriend Dane yeah. said it started getting fat, and she right. said, "Are you going to leave me?" What would your fucking answer be? I'd be like, listen, let's talk about this on the treadmill. 
<laughs> See, now that's a great... Wow, that's a great... And that's he would do it with her to me. I'm like, look, I'm going to stay fat, but <laughs> you have my to... fatness has nothing to do with you, bitch. I, <laughs> my coolness is something else. <laughs> Yours is to look... You are to try to make a fat man look like he's better because he has a gorgeous girlfriend. <laughs> now, you can't do that being fat now, can you? Okay. So pork so... chop. <laughs> God damn pork chop. Pumpkin. Patrice, Patrice, where are you living now? I live in the same area I lived in, except for I like own where I live now. He's a and homeowner. Now, yeah. And now, are you is VH1 taking care of you? You got a house now? You get some money? I, not VH1 didn't give me house money. VH1 might have gave me house money. I think a mm. couple of colleges there. Yeah. Um, the virus tour gave me a couple of um. There you go. A couple of new shoes. <laughs> Just shoes. That some good. shoes That's and a couple of you. DVDs. <laughs> That's all we got you. <laughs> Because uh, I'll tell you, the virus tour, the virus tour justified a couple of things in my life. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Justified. You pieces of shit with the, with your money. Yeah, you know that God car. God damn it! That, that car was one tour stop. Now they're doing the. Um, <laughs> Dane, are you in, are you endorsing the the um, spinoff tourgasm tour with? I am producing the uh, tourgasm tour. Yes. That, are you going to surprise visit some? Yeah, you should time? surprise visit. Uh, I, I hope to. Yeah, now that uh, now that I'm done with this stuff, I can probably jump out to a couple of these gigs. It's franchising like Starbucks. It's a, amazing. What it is. It's, yeah. it's fucking. I turned around. I know Dane. Yeah. I turned around. I go. Is Dane famous? That's what I would <laughs> what, ask people. What happened? Like, is Dane famous? Do I, I, I know him? I have his number. I. <laughs> Like, is this, did this motherfucker, is he a household word? People right seem to be talking about I him. I turned around and there's a finger that's his, his, uh, super, his super finger, finger Sufi, that's a, a conglomerate. It's, it's more money than Viacom. And I'm like, when did this happen? What, <laughs> at what set at the Laugh Factory on fucking Sunset Boulevard <laughs> did this fucking happen? The minute I, I stepped away from the table at the cellar. That is really oh, oh, shit. That really is, and and here's the sad thing. That's, it, that's Bobby, inside, but really good. Yeah, it's, it's there's it's, a lot of bitterness at that back table. It, it's just, when when I'm gonna tell you where a lot of this come from, and it's not from because it, from Tough Crowd when Tough Crowd was on, it was it was me, Norton, uh, Nick. Mm -hmm. Colin Voss. and we kind of got and Voss. And yeah, he, he he made sure not to forget Voss because that's really you can feel it is and Voss. Voss and but we used to sit around and just like you stink, you loser, you this, you that, and and a lot of comics are not privy to that shit. Like they don't like that whole loser, you suck, you, right. know, you ain't shit. So it's like let me get away from that and get into some positive thinking. But here's the thing, that's what Dane is. Is positive thinking. Some of the guys that try to subscribe to Dane Cookology are losing, like Fat Boy, <laughs> like Bobby Kelly, who's starting to look like Emerald Lagasse, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. who has to understand he's a fucking loser. <laughs> he is not to hang out with positive vibes. He's to be with losers and stay with losers, and he'll find success. No one wants to be around this fat balding man who's. Who has this evil look in his eyes? These black <laughs> eyes. Lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. Like a doll's eyes. You, you, you made one mistake. You said balding. He's actually bald. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm telling you, There's Dane. No more ink. Dane has a lot of guys. It's it's the it's the side of it's the it's the dark side and it's the it's the it's the it's the light. Now Dane is succeeding. On the the force. The light side of the force. But there's right. a lot of guys who think they should be living on the force side. Right. Who aren't living on it. Like Gary is an angry man. Gary Goldman, because yep. he 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 should be on the force side, <laughs> and it should be his life should be cultivated. But he's mean and mad. And if he accepts that, he could be a Sith if Lord. If he accepts his evil, he will be fantastic. Dane is nice. Dane's playing the garden. Dane, of course he is. Dane's and, and playing it's the probably, garden. It's probably on the way to something else. <laughs> he's, he's, dropping, he's dropping through at the garden. Dropping in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only, what, it's like, you know what? Dane's MySpace send button is like fucking getting ready to launch a missile. Like It's like, all right, Dane, are you sure you want to do Ohio State University? Yes. Pop. <laughs> You sure you want to do the state of Kansas? <laughs> Dane Cook is performing tonight, one night only. Dane performs in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Where at? In Minneapolis. Where? Nigga. Minnesota. Minneapolis. 
Wait, he puts out a bulletin on the MySpace, hits send, and all the lights dim. <laughs> like, all the power That's why MySpace from the crashed. internet has to, is getting soaked up. You're like, oh, Dane must be putting out a bulletin. Me and my 1,700 friends. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Dane, Dane's friends can gang rape my friends. Oh. <laughs> And they couldn't fight it off. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because everyone else got involved with the MySpace way too late. They saw what it did. Yeah, Dane, Dane got in, but like, was really in early. early. You got to be in early. Dane, who Pyramid fucking told Dane. you about that? Don't even tell me that you were sitting Tom. there going, hmm, this looks like a good place for me uh, to... Uh... I was on Friendster, and a fan wrote me and was like, dude, doesn't this suck? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, you should check this out. So I, I skipped over to My, MySpace early on. Do you owe that guy money now? <laughs> I don't know who that is, man, but you know that son I, of a bitch I over there. Man, he gave he gave you a great tip. You don't know you know the guy Tom though, right? The guy that runs it, right? You must. Yeah, those guys. I mean, they made uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's worth like five hundred and eighty million dollars or something. Unbelievable. Dane huh? is slacking though. He only has one point five million friends. Oh, that's What's it? with that nigga? That's What's like with country. that Dane? There are countries that don't have those populations. <laughs> Dane has point, India as a friend. Like a country now. Dane has Tibet as his friend. Welcome to Dane. Ha, ha, ha. Come to Dane. You got a passport? That doesn't... You can't get into Dane. To Dane? Unbelievable. <laughs> Dane Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, I will soon be arriving in Dane. The weather is perfect, of course, as it is every day. So uh, fasten your seatbelts and uh, prepare for landing and enjoy your time in Dane. <laughs> Patrice O'Neal, you coined it, man. You said the thing though at the back of Knicks one day when everybody was everybody was trying to be something they weren't on stage. I remember you looked at me, dude, and you go, "I'll tell you, man, the thing that's going to make you make it." And he goes, "You can't fuck with the truth," and that's all I ever did, man. I was like, "All right, fuck it. I'll just be myself. I'm not going to try to bust balls if I don't want to bust ball." And and really, Patrice is one of the guys that actually was, you know, he got me. He oh. got me right away. So a lot of comics try to be something they're not. A lot of comics. I, and that's why. I, that's yeah. why I tell. Yeah. I tell. That's why I tell. But I know how to make Bobby Kelly famous. <laughs> He's the, it, see. Dane's fame is different than Bobby's fame. He's not. It. it you know, like certain people have certain kind of fame, and I could never be Dane famous. I would do my personality would do something to <laughs> horrifically fuck up my fan base. Like, I would just tell him, go fuck yourself with your goddamn <laughs> finger. Stick these two sufis up, your fucking cunt whore. Get out of my... You know what? I'm tired of the Madison Square Garden. It'll be 13,000 people going, what? Boo. He's having a nervous breakdown. Boo. Hey, hey, get him out of here. Go suck a dick. I know where my bread's buttered. My bread is not buttered. I, I might make a million. Throwing somehow. out a heckler in like section 304. But Dane, the thing, I, the thing I tell Dane because a lot of old school guys hate Dane. Old school motherfuckers right. hate right. Dane. Just hate And, and I'll go look. Let me tell you something, man. This motherfucker, and I and I say this, and this is not no bullshit, man. I don't, you know me, man. No. I, he's righteous. I say the motherfucker. We had a long talk. It's one of these long, long time ago. Last long talk we had. <clears throat> and Dane did two things. Well, I remember. I said, Dane, look, man, because he told me all this heavy shit about himself. I said, oh, you don't talk about this shit on stage. He goes, I, I have no interest in it. <laughs> maybe in a movie, maybe, but I would never talk about that deep down hurting shit on stage. I went, fair enough. <laughs> and then he, he proceeded to go, you know, I'm tired of people stealing from me and Jim Carrey. And that's when I wish it was somebody else there for me to look at and go, what? <laughs> that conversation, that was the last heart to heart we like right. had. But I, that's why I go, that motherfucker is righteous. Whatever he's doing, it's him. Don't do fucking somebody else. Right. Bobby Kelly. I love Bobby. I tell him this all the time. You're not a guy people love. So what uh, what do you what is the adjustment that Bobby needs to make then? What he needs to stop do? talking about butter cookies and cheese whiz on stage cuz Bobby is a deviant problem person, but he can't deal with no laughter. Bobby needs the laughs that Dane get. Bobby needs that, but Bobby needs to learn how to not be funny for a second. So that he can deep deep go deep down into what the fuck problems he has. <laughs> As an ex good looking guy. Like oh man, I was I was watching Torgasm uh the other day and I saw the episode where you guys look back. Yeah. And holy shit, 
There were some videos, some old videos of Bobby yeah. with that Jerry Curl motherfucking hair or whatever Bobby the hell that was. was. Sexy man. Rico he was, Suave. He was, he was, yeah, he was like Rico fucking, Suave. He was like a young Marlon Brando. He yeah. was fucking sexy. Bobby was tremendously sexy. <laughs> sexy Bobby. He really you should see his old headshot at the cellar. You go, holy yeah. what a pretty fuck. man. He is P Bobby was pretty. Had them he was like a male Angelina. <laughs> <laughs> I used, to, I used to bring girl. This was my like my litmus test. I used to bring girls that I liked uh, down to like Remington's or the vault or whatever, and like then they would meet Bobby, and then Bobby would like go fuck my chick, and that's when oh. I knew that I wasn't with the right girl. Bo oh, that's Bobby, a good wow. litmus he, test. And he still has that charm, but the, Bobby lost a little bit of the charm because Bobby's on a mission of positivity now, and yeah. it's, he's losing. Dude, you know, life is like a box of onion rings, you know. When, when he came when he came in uh, the first few times, he would talk about how you know, deviant a lifestyle he was leading, and then he'd start talking about, I'm, I'm talking to people, and I just want to get a little more positivity in my life. He's trying to figure it so out. So he's trying to, yeah, he's figure it out. To, Dane is that, what he, Dane does is what he does. What yeah. I do, I try, let me tell you something. Everybody tries to be Dane at one point. They try positivity. I tried positivity in '98. Nah. It almost killed me. I, was, I liked it. I was in. <laughs> and, yeah. Hello, everyone. What do you need? I, I was, bought your T-shirt. I was. <laughs> I was in a room by myself with two whoppers sitting on my stomach because that's all I could afford to eat. <laughs> and I said, if I had a gun, I'd blow my fucking brains out because I'm in here skipping around. And like Jamie Masada that owns the Laugh Factory, he come body with his dry skin and talking to you. And 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 I'm going, hey, Mr. Mas M J hey, how are you, man? Good to see you, uh, you creepy Iranian. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's like my thing is to go, get the fuck out of my face. That's it. That's, it's like I would yeah. never hang with you. Wait. But people people think that you say that, Patrice, because you're afraid of success, and that's why you take that route. I used to be. I mm. fucking was that person that like goes, oh, man, I'm tired of this. I, You know what? I'm afraid of. No. Getting a little too I close. Want, yeah, I want, I want it. But also at the same time, I know me. The the success that I want is the one that gets to say to somebody, eh, yeah, look, I, this is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, because things, are, different, yeah. <laughs> things out of the stand-up world, you have to be collaborative, and that means fucking putting on business hat for more hours of the day than the fuck-off hat. And so that's the thing, Patrice. I don't think a yeah. lot of people think that you can do that. <sighs> I probably... He's getting better at it. I, I've seen it even in the short term. This daffy bastard has gotten himself a good credit rating. He's bought a house. This is shit that years ago... One step at a time! Years ago, and he's, he's no talking about things like... Close. He's talking about things like, like sitting in a room at a closing and, and you know... I call it the whiteification of Patrice. <laughs> the whiteification. Wow. It's a little, you know, he's just entering a, a whole new world. Patrice, you Let me tell you something. That uh, that credit ra credit rating, that's uh, that's like sitting at the blackjack table. You don't want to lose that shit. No, that, that that your life hinges on it at some point. If you reach a certain level of success, where you're out of the rented house, out of your friends coming over in the rented house, trashing it with beer cans and stuff, <laughs> when you move up to actually buy a house. Uh, you, things like credit ratings come into play, and you're like, ugh. They're really, but look it, at you guys, though. You're mm. you, what you like. What you were before, like you you take a L, you take less L's than you used to take before. Like before uh, the, the the fucking chapel shit, you <laughs> motherfuckers would you know have somebody fuck a horse on in, in Times Square. And That's like, true. And then you you get threatened to be fired, you'd be laughing. It's awesome. <laughs> it's but just... now you can see you motherfuckers go, oh, Lordy, you get slaved. Lordy, Lordy, Lord, 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 we don't want do. news. The master do. says those words ain't supposed to be used. But nice <laughs> is not my basis for why I'm funny. Mm. Ever. In my life. Yeah, and you it's know that. pain. And I can't, I just can't figure out how to be funny without pain. So I have to make it. So that's nothing. That's nothing wrong with no, that. No, it works. But it it works for someone. Works for you. Work for, and I know it works for me. And how's um how's Billy Bird doing after that uh, YouTube thing that I watched? They don't know. They won't call. I Billy. would love to talk to Billy. <laughs> I don't you know, know his wh number. I don't have his number. My cell phone is broke. <laughs> and you know something? Billy Bird never gave me his phone number, and I never gave Billy my phone number. I don't know what happened. You don't have my phone number. Your I don't have, have Patrice's phone, phone number. She calls you here. When she needs I, to I got Opie's phone number. Yeah, bro. That's who I have in my contacts. <laughs> I'm going to call him today. 
Yeah. Are you calling? It's Billings? only been two weeks. I better call him. You better call him, man. I, I, I always say, like, the past couple of weeks, I've been saying, ah, where's Billy? Dave, How's he doing? Have you checked out the Bill Burr video yet? I, I watched the whole thing, man. On YouTube? It's unbelievable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Dave, what are you playing in Transformers? I don't think I'm doing it, man, because they, uh, they... They wanted to change my scene around, and then I didn't like the new scene that they wrote, so what I was you? out of it. What was what, you? What were you in this? I, originally, I wrote a scene. They, and Michael, I met with Michael Bay, and he told me to write a scene. He's like, dude, do whatever you want. I go, I'll only do it if I can fight a fucking robot. <laughs> as, so, but as who, Dane? No, no, here's the thing. I was going to do a cameo. I, I sat down with Michael Bay. He goes, all right, tell me what you want to do. I go, here's the deal. I only want to do a cameo if I can fight like Optimus Prime. And he goes, Ooh. all right, you write the scene. So I wrote a scene out where I'm driving down the street in my car, and my car starts fucking transforming, and my own car beats the shit out of me, and I start fighting my car. Okay. And I had this whole thing set up, and I sent it to him. They're like, good, we're, we, we're, we'll do it. We'll shoot it in two days. And then they just called me like a week ago, and they're like, ah, budget thing. We had to cut that, but do you want to, like, come in with a manila envelope and throw it on somebody's desk and be like, good afternoon, sir. Oh, uh, boy. And I said, no. There so I don't go. think I'm doing it. But on a super high level. Yeah. I do that when I'm supposed to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, no one knows who you are. No one will ever know. You want to throw something on somebody's desk. I go, fuck off. I'm not throwing something no. on a desk. And then it's like, boy, I, I wish I had that $2,000. And, <laughs> and, and yet you'll dress up like a transvestite. I thought, listen to me, motherfucker. <laughs> hey. Listen, he just threw that. For, see, see, yeah. see how positive people do? They throw a hook and then back up, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to this, okay? If you're gonna play a fag, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you one, it's 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 uh the lady that did the piano. It's it's uh what's her name? Fucking oh, you ain't gonna get that Holly answer Hunter. out of me. I, I I should know her name, right? Holly Hunter. Hunter. Anna? Oh, Holly Hunter? No, no, the the woman who directed it. That uh, woman, oh, oh. okay? That lady makes one movie every uh 17 years and it gets an Oscar. Mm. Right. It's it's Mark Ruffalo, it's Meg Ryan, it's fucking some artsy black noir bullshit. Right. And I'm like, I'm gonna play a Dominican faggot. All right, sounds good. All Think right. My career, nothing. I tried to sue to get out that movie. It was. <laughs> here's how unnecessary my character was. In the in the credits it said it, it said Hector and then in parentheses it said what character I was. Oh in no! In the fucking credits, Hector, big nigga in front of the thing. Remember him? Oh, That's shit. in the credits. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but you would do that, like you would play. It, it's it, okay. Oh you, no! In an Adam Sandler movie, it's the it's the difference between a fag and an Adam Sandler movie. It, you know, no, no difference because Tracy played the sissy in, in one of his movies. But yeah. I'm just saying it's the difference between playing a fag and that in a in an Adam Sandler comedy or like a Martin Scorsese's uh, drama. Mm -hmm. You go. I think I'll, I'll play a gay guy in a Martin Scorsese movie. I think they right. might get me something or retard. Right. In a in a serious movie. That gets you something. Yep. I'm oh. I'm Who's calling you? That's Opie's ring on his um <laughs> on his phone now. <laughs> Play that at the bank, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I might have to change that. Um, I want a good credit rating. And eventually. good luck, Chuck. How fine is Jessica Alba? I just need to know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is she, oh my is God, she, is she sexy it. up close? That girl is. Uh, she's a goddess. Is she is she flirty or very just straight? No, forward? she's. I mean, yeah, yeah. She's really cool, man. She's like, <laughs> she's my speed. That's a girl right there. That's. Uh, I mean, she got a boyfriend, but she is. She is uh, the real deal. And does she, she have any sex, like, flirty? Other than her, how good she looks, is she, f like, does she give you a, a little something like you go, oh, you motherfucker, if you don't stop? Oh, no. She's like, you know, she's a pro, man. She's been in it a long time, too. She didn't just step on, you know, on set. She's been doing this since she was, like, 10. So she, you know, she shows up when she has to show up. She knows what the deal is. It's not, like, glamorous anymore. She's like, all right, what's up? What are we doing? All right, later. Damn. Yeah, she was up in here one day. Oh, how sexy is she? Is she gorgeous? Amazing. Really? She's she's fantastic yeah. looking, man. All right, let's. Dane's really busy. Today. I know, busy Dane was movie. <laughs> Patrice, what are you doing next, dude? Uh, stand up New York tonight. Maybe I can take my show and just put it in yours. <laughs> Have your show babysit my show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could be the babysitting room at the Ma at his Madison Square Garden show. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you could be the smoking section, a <laughs> little glass Pam. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, Patrice. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do you. I'm gonna do you a solid. I'm gonna put you on, put you on my top eight for four hours. So get ready. Oh, oh man! Get my eight thousand oh, man! You're gonna get a lot of friends. <laughs> First two five I see on my page, I'm getting them all. I'm gonna write them a letter. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. what I love about Patrice. His uh, his whole system, no goals. Yeah. <laughs> it must be so nice to go through life like that. Uh, how great is that? So no whatever goals. happens good, you're surprised about it. Somebody no calls, goals. Do what? Yeah. 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 Right. No goals. They call me for web junk. Want to do that? I ain't doing nothing. That's your right there. No goals. No yeah. goals. No goals. Bridge burner. <laughs> Bridge burner. <laughs> All right, employee of the month opens today. Yep, can't wait to see the numbers on Monday. You it's watch, gonna it's gonna huge. be it's gonna be number one movie. It's gonna be uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna we'll be see, huge. Man. Scorsese's got uh, quite a fan base himself, but uh, if we can be the number one comedy, I won't be crying. Yeah, well, you'll definitely get that. Yeah, you got that. Jeez, you got that. The trailer looked great. I saw it during Jackass. Yeah, the reviews from last night are rolling in because they had uh, they had screenings uh, starting at midnight, and uh, you know that's the thing is people get online and hide behind a screen name and then they'll say anything. Uh, oh, really? But, but so far, everybody's saying that uh, that that they, they dug it and that people are laughing. And here's how famous Dane is before we all go. Yeah. Let you know. Because this will be the last time we talk to him. This so. is it. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell is. you why Dane is now officially famous. Yeah. Dane has a small gut, but he's on the cover of Men's Health magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Dane is out of shape, and he's on the cover of Men's Health magazine. Let's just say that is fame. <laughs> you insane. I'm in the Dane best, has a little pudge. I am in the best shape of my week. <laughs> my week. <laughs> Dane's on the cover of Fitness Illustrated <laughs> with a saggy booty. Unbelievable. I'm fucking amazed by that. Patrice Dane is cooks, on baby. the... Patrice is on the cover of White Man's Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's I how swear to God, it. I want to be cigar aficionado. That's that's my Patrice goal. Patrice on man. the cover of cigar. Man, I'm gonna set a goal right now. I'm gonna be on cigar aficionado. I love Patrice O'Neill. How to make it from bed? <laughs> and, and Dane Cook, your tickets for Madison Square Garden go on sale Monday at uh, what 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster.com. Uh, yeah, it goes on to the public. I think pre-sale. We're already uh, almost uh, halfway sold out, so it should Jesus be going Christ. up. Quick. How many did you sell pre-sale? Pre-sale, we've already sold, uh, I think, over 10,000 oh, in 48 God. hours. And it's only how many seats there? Like 12,000? Uh, yeah, it's it's, half. it's, it's over, go for Johnny. Like 19,000, 20,000 at the yeah. guard. Yeah, there you go. All right, Dane. I go fuck All yourself. Right, <laughs> hey, you're not one of the haters, I thought. I'm throw an egg right at his fucking head. I'm a hater now. <laughs> you're a hater. Fuck <laughs> mother. Fuck you, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dane. Thank hey, you happy, so much. Uh, happy anniversary to you guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. You got it, fellas. All right, Dane. Dane Cook. Later. Cook, later. <laughs> Employee of Dane the month. Cook. That guy is so oh, fucking man. famous yes. now. Just Men's so Health Magazine. fucking famous. Men's Patrice, Health Magazine. It's been fun watching you today, man. You were great. Stand up New York. Yeah. Tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, Salem State University. That's right. And um, next Thursday is um, uh, Vinny's Club. The Stress Stress Factor. Factor. Oh, that's the one I'm going to. 12, tw- yeah. <laughs> 12, 13, <to> 14. <laughs> yeah. Anthony will be there. Okay. <laughs> Anthony's sighting. I don't know what you look like doing comedy outside of Caroline's. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the only place <laughs> I go to. to I hear we go. See for trees. It's time for Line of the Day, sponsored by BodogFights.com. Log on and watch American Fighters battle for the right to represent the U.S. and out against the Russians. It's all on BodogFights.com. A mix. Could you get up on the mic and sound a little more enthusiastic uh, I, about it? I'm tired. <laughs> I got houses to look at today. I'm going to attempt that oh. again. A mixed martial arts tournament and docu-reality unlike any seen before. Vote for line of the week at ILikeToListen.com. Got a tote around a big heavy suitcase of money. House to house. So you could just go, I'll take it when yeah, you see one you yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, here's line of the day. Here comes line of the day, the day, line of the day, the day. Uh, so he's just getting, trying to get some. He's poo-ha. trying to get some action. All right. That's why he's. Com- but the way he complimented her hair out of nowhere. This is when in '75 when when a, when a condom was just he was uncircumcised. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill walks away with the line of the day. The condom line. They might have needed a setup now. No. 
self-explanatory, I guess. Yeah. Because it was 1975. Condom. Yeah. Unclip. Pre-AIDS. Pre-AIDS. There you go. End of the show? Yeah, we don't talk now. <laughs> now we don't. Now it's, it gets all uncomfortable. Because we really don't talk when the mics no, are off. It gets all so. uncomfortable. Like, um, this we, is the last had, chance to be my friend. Yeah, for, for in, more minutes, until you're back again. Time. And then, yeah. although, although <laughs> for some reason, Patrice will stop at the corner and be on the phone. And then we'll kind of bump into each other and have a little walk and talk to yeah, the who garage. Yeah, we talk to on the corner every day. Um, my girl. After the oh, show, you're always talking sweet. to someone on that gotta, corner. Got to talk to my girl. He's making deal for fish scale on the phone. Yeah, the just corner. let her know I'm not sleeping with ten bitches, my <laughs> sweetie. I'm walking. Listen outside. There's people here. I'm not in a brawl. <laughs> Take video, motherfucker. I'm not <laughs> Email me video. <laughs> she just had to make sure. He's gonna have to walk around on Pal Talk 24 hours a day. <laughs> Uh, and Patrice, always Patrice, a pleasure. Thanks, man. Always. All right. Great job. We had a lot of fun this week. Thanks, Patrice. Hell yeah. Is it all? Oh, no. Good week. What? We're still on mic. It's still going out over, but, but yeah, we're done. Oh, yeah. The actual no, show no, is no, over. The, show, the no. show is over. No. The, uh, it just, it just, that's it. No, like anything that could be, be pop, no, even, even, even not slightly not entertaining has what stopped coming out of the radios right now, but yeah. they're still on. All right, folks. Thanks. See you later. There you go. That's how Patrice rolls. That's how he does it. Look at him. He gets to he's leave out. on the high note, gave his plugs, boom, he's gone. It's a pretty good strategy. I see you're using it right now, too, standing up and leaving. I'm beat. Yeah. I am tired today. It's, that was uh, a good show, though. It was a good week. Good week of radio. Yeah. Except for our stupid anniversary show. I hated that. <sighs> Fucking blue. No more anniversary show. We'll shows. be replaying that, I'm sure. I'm sure E Rock's already got it scheduled for a fucking replay. Dude, why? No, why? It was great. What? I why? did. I thought you liked. Why are you anxious to just sit there and hang? You're the one usually leaving already. I'm not anxious to sit here and hang. I'm a responsible broadcaster, and I see that. Uh, we don't have to be responsible. It's after eleven. That's true. All right, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I'm done. Hey guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for the support. We'll uh, see you on Monday. On uh, Monday.